start to the morning across the Bay Area today. Let's take a look at the forecast with First Alert Meteorologist Aaron Pat. Morning, Devin. Yeah, particularly it's those inland valleys that are feeling the temperatures in the 30s, Santa Rosa, Livermore, Tri-Valley. Everybody else, for the most part, is doing okay. Let's start off by taking a look outside from our camera that sits on top of the uh, Salesforce Tower. We're looking south. We're waiting for what will be a spectacular sunrise at 654. And we're already getting that real pretty morning light in the sky. Current numbers show you it's mainly mid-40s as you look up and down the heart of the bay. It's 47 right now in Hayward, 53 in Redwood City. San Jose's 44. But it is 38 in Livermore and 34 in Petaluma right now, 36 in Santa Rosa, 36 in Napa, Fairfield doing that same number. So we know those inland valleys are doing what they do. In the morning, it's cold. We don't have widespread fog out there, so that's good. We're not tracking any issues with that. And the daytime highs today come right back up to where they've been, low 70s for many inland valleys, mid to upper 60s for most locations right in through the heart of the bay. It's a pretty good looking day here. If we wanted to see how things change, there is a slight little addition to this forecast that's going to be a bit different than what you've been living with for the last six to seven days. Weak little weather system right up here. And you can watch it on the future cast. Start to skirt its way down the coast as we take this all the way ahead to Monday afternoon. This is going to be another one of those systems that has to go a little too far inland to have a significant impact here with rain. So while it does look like that, you might not even be able to pick it up there. While it does look like that weak little system would be heading our way, and it is, the majority of what happens with this will be snow in the Sierra. You can kind of see how this plays out. The system goes inland. We get perhaps as much as a half a foot of snow up at Donner Pass from that going into Tuesday and Wednesday. It just doesn't look likely enough yet for rain here. It is possible that that system could give us a few drops of rain on Tuesday going into Wednesday. It'd be a couple hundredths if we got it, so it's not a significant possibility, but it's something we'll keep a close eye on, and we'll update you in our first alert forecast as we get closer to Tuesday and Wednesday. Be a little breezy as well over the next 36 hours, but it's just an onshore breeze, nothing significant there. So let's look ahead in the seven-day forecast. And uh, the clouds just kind of increase a little bit as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. The daytime highs will also cool down a bit, so take a look at San Jose's numbers. We will feel the cool air from this system. So that's something that should not be left out of the story. We're going to go from the mid-70s back down into the mid-50s for daytime highs. And that is a significant drop, especially when you consider the fact that we've been looking at low 70s for quite some time here. So mid-50s, that's really got to be the headline from this system. Noticeably cooler as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday from it. And then a subtle rebound that will take us ahead into next weekend, never really quite getting back up to those 70s again, but still enjoying mid-60s as we approach next weekend without any rain. I feel like it's been pretty warm for the past month, and we're getting a significant cool-off this week. That's a great way of looking at this. I mean, low, low to mid-70s is what we've gotten used to. We should have been low to mid-60s. That means when we go mid to upper 50s, all of a sudden, that's going to feel a lot cooler than it maybe would have had to have, but it'll certainly feel cooler. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah.